Okay then, um, so I had a small gap um, due to the fact that I injured my hand with a flat disc on the angle grinder a few days ago. Um, pretty sore, but um, I guess it's getting better slowly. Um, any case, um, the uh, the memory card on the camera uh, ran out slightly before I got the chassis down properly um, last time. But anyway, as you see now, it's on uh, four axle stands. I haven't managed to get the crane out yet, um, but I guess it can stay there to be honest. Um, so there's a few few bits and pieces still remaining to be completed, um, including some capping off and some clean, uh, closing up of ends, ends of tubes there, and uh, as I mentioned, some stuff at the back. So I'm just going to take you over there. there so here are my upper rear seat belt mountings which will have a bridge piece both sides and there will also be a triangulation piece for the front seat belts which uh, um, a position of which I just need to check in relation to the the wheel arch anyway that should be pretty straightforward um, on the back section while I was re repairing that um, piece of rusted through tube as you can see here I've uh, replaced the corner in fact I, I had two, two goes at it as I judged that this uh, small triangle here was a bit too small so uh, oh well um, the other side will also need to be done uh, except I'm not going to take the top off the tube this time I'm just going to join the corner in um, what else was there to do um, not too much actually, from, from flap, some flap disking to remove um, welded up rivet holes um, here and there. And that's and then of course there's the, rem the removal of the remaining rusty crusty bits um, where it would be, it's not structural or um, as bad as that but down here it's just a little bit too much to just paint over. So there's some of that, so I shall be using a, um, a wire wheel thing to uh, get rid of that as well, so that will probably create a whole bunch of dust unfortunately, but that's kind of kind of there and uh, yeah that's probably going to take me a little while to sort out today but after that we might be on to paint so, I'm going to put you back here. That's where we are. So I've um, been making some more brackets and things and uh, preparing to do some more welding. Just move you over here. So, one thing I've discovered um, is the top of this tube here had some pinholes in it and that's as a result I think of being under the battery and having the battery tra tray um, welded to it um, so I've cut that off and I shall be replacing the top of that but I need to wait for some steel to turn up however what I've got over here so this is the re rear um, lock striker bar stroke um, upper seat belt mounting for the front as you can see here I've put a triangle piece in there to strengthen it um, previously it was made of um, somewhat smaller box section than it is now but considering it is the main seat belt attachment point I thought I would uh, double up on everything so not only is it a larger diameter it's also going to be braced with some uh, diagonal um, and of course that will help the locks as well. Um, over here we have the plate that I've cut out which will form the bridging piece for the uh, rear seat belt mountings and that will have a hole tapped into it to take the, uh, the actual seat belt bolt itself on both sides of course. Oh, it's fallen down and then I have this uh, replacement triangle which goes in here to replace the one that had rusted away uh, a little while ago 
Um, so what I'm going to do now is do some of that welding that I mentioned. Here we have the uh, completely welded rear upper mounts for the rear seat belts, and there will be holes drilled and tapped in there for the seat belt bolts. And here we have the triangulated um, front seat belt stroke um, lock striker bar supports. Um, this will probably finish up having a, some sort of bracket attached to it for the actual seat belt rule, um, reels, which I haven't obviously done yet, but. Uh, that's um, almost completed. And here, never mind the hammer, we have a foot plate which may well end up being used for a roll cage. One of those there, and another one slightly out of position over there. So that's uh, pretty much done now. Probably be a few more bits of welding. Um, that's basically 99% done and that's the rear triangulation piece that I put on just tidied the weld up a little bit that should be good to go as well uh, yeah and that's my little dog Jessica who's being annoyed by the van that came and went anyway hopefully she won't make up too much further noise um, yeah I would say the chassis is now 99% done um, just bar a little bit of tidying up at the front which isn't quite finished yet but uh, it's nearly there <coughs> so as you can uh, see I've got the chassis on its side again and now um, although there's a few small couple of small bits of welding that need to be um, tidied up, I'm actually going to start doing some painting just for a change as much as anything else and one other, and, uh, other things where I want to um, cover up things that can't be painted later on. So um, here I am, paintbrush in hand. Good old hammerite. I've been doing some painting and let me tell you there's a heck of a lot of uh, different sides of these multiple tubes to uh, to paint on this chassis especially if you want to give them two coats which I kind of do um, it looks quite quite nice I suppose um, there's one or two little bits that I need to even welding which I need to tidy up but it's kind of coming together um, and um, I'm even starting, as you can see in the back there, springs hanging down, starting to think about reattaching the suspension. Actually, the, the front suspension, I have got one side back on down here. Um, so it would be possible to wheel it around, which would be quite nice. 
Um, so uh, yeah, I think that's looking looking quite good. I think the next stages may be starting to feed some brake and fuel lines up through the tunnel, and just after that, it will be panelling the tunnel in. As I've mentioned, the uh, original fiberglass is now the wrong shape, so this will be panelled in aluminium instead. Um, and then the the floors and the sills and everything else will be the original um, fiberglass, and they'll, they'll be laminated together um, with uh, with fiberglass. And then we can start moving on to actual reconstruction. That would be quite nice. <laughs>